Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you saw my video last week, I said we were going to do a road trip up to the Bob Ross Art Gallery in New Smyrna, Florida, because we're huge fans of this iconic painter. And our friend Steve and Jojo came up too, because they also love Bob Ross. So usually I do a lot of thrift hauls, and this time, not so much. We did stop at a flea market. I bought one item, but we did meet somebody who had a really good story about Bob Ross, so that was fun. I hope you enjoy the video, and I have a few fun facts I want to share with you about him at the end. Thank you. Right, God, it's a fantastic day. It's a good day to be alive. <laughs> Come to think of it, every day is a good day to be alive. <laughs> So here we are on our way to the Bob Ross Museum and we found a flea market so of course we had to stop. I was able to get this really nice basket weave carnival glass. They were asking three dollars. I got it for a buck and a half. But we have a really really good story to tell. Well actually Kimmy has a really good story to tell. Um, most people don't know that New Smyrna Beach is a very artistic community. And Bob Ross, who has his studio here, uh, before he passed away, um, about, I guess it'd be about 16 years now. And after Bob passed away, um, his niece, who had never been to his studio, wanted to come take his class and come to his studio. I happen to own a beach house on Beachside at the time. This is back in 1999. Now that after meeting you, I'm going to have to write her a yeah, letter and see what letter. she's up to because it's been a couple of years. But, but like I said, a lot of people don't realize Bob Ross is from this area. Right, and stuff. we didn't. And Until um, just about two weeks ago. Yeah, and, <laughs> and we've been watching him forever. Yeah, and yeah. his studio's right over on Canal Street yeah. on Beachside. And like I said, my beach house wasn't too far from there. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a very artistic community. But yeah. it's a real neat picture, and uh, she was a real neat lady. And if you guys stop by, yeah. and I'll show you the picture. We'd love to do that. We're heading up to. We didn't know it was an NASCAR day, <laughs> so I don't know if we're going to make it in time to the museum. But we're on our way. I'll show you the back roads. Thanks. It's like you look at them and you don't know what it's going to be, and then all of a sudden, yeah. What's up on the So we made it to the Bob Ross Art Gallery and Workshop, and we're standing in front of one of our favorite paintings. We actually watched this on TV last night, and I would like to introduce you to Eddie. Eddie Hi. Hi, Michelle. The... Hi, Eddie. Yeah, this uh, uh, Bob Ross Art Workshop has been here since 1992. Bob actually opened it up in wow. 1992, so he worked here for a couple of years. And what we do here, 24 weeks out of the year, we actually certify students to become Bob Ross instructors. And then they go out and teach the technique to other people. We do landscape, florals, and wildlife. That's 24 weeks out of the year. And when we're not doing that, we do day classes, like these uh, paintings over here on the wall with the dates on them. Those are the ones that we actually do uh, on a like just a day class. So it's in like the Bob Ross technique. Just like, exactly. Well, it's a Bob Ross workshop, so we have to stick to the Bob Ross technique. Do you do them in half an hour? Uh, uh, no, it takes <laughs> us about four hours. So it doesn't take us. Yeah, that's a long. That's Bob can do it. And I think Bob said in one of his shows that uh, it took him 30 years to do a painting in 30 minutes. Oh, so wow. you just can't like pick it up right away. Yeah. But the fun thing about the uh, actual day classes, so when you come in, we'll have everything set up for you: the canvas, brushes. 
paint you walk in like that we teach you how to do that painting you take your painting home with you wow. and we gear all our classes to beginners well, i think so, jojo and i are definitely gonna all right, take a class and do our own good. bob ross picture all right thank you, you Eddie. an original bob ross yeah, painting right exactly. done by you done Don't by michelle yeah. all right thanks, thanks Eddie. michelle you're welcome meeting you. nice we're gonna meeting. look around and all right. enjoy all right thank you So our trip to the Bob Ross Gallery was just every bit as incredible as we thought it would be. And um, being that close to his paintings, being such big fans was just amazing. And we've actually watched him make most of those paintings that we saw. And meeting Eddie was great. He was a wealth of information. And he gave us all Bob Ross pens, which I will cherish. And if you're ever in New Smyrna, stop by and say hello to Eddie and see some phenomenal paintings. They also teach classes here. And Eddie said that they teach them everywhere in every state. So if you're interested, look them up and make yourself some happy little mountains. So I hope you enjoyed our trip to the gallery. And Eddie was just great. He made us feel so welcome and he shared a lot of information with us. And like I said in the beginning, I have some fun facts I wanted to share with you about Bob Ross. And here they are. Fact number one, his show ran from 1982 to 1994. Fact number two, before that, he was in the Air Force, and it's alleged that he was a drill sergeant, if you can believe that, and he got the nickname of a bust -em up Bobby. Fact number three, he lost his index finger when he was in the ninth grade. His father was a carpenter, and he sawed it right off. And if you look closely, you can see that in his videos, which I didn't notice, and I did look closely, and I did see that in his videos. So fact number four is he was in the Air Force for 20 years, and most of that time was spent in Alaska, which he loved Alaska, and that was his inspiration for his happy little mountains and his happy little trees. Unfortunately, he died on July 4th, 1995, and it was a sad day for all of us Bob Ross fans. I hope you enjoyed the video, and next week I'll be back with another Goodwill Thrift Store haul. So have a great week and see you real soon. If you see little creatures around your house, help take care of them, because they're, they're God's little creatures, and they're fantastic. Get to know them, make friends with them. This one was loaned to me by the bird lady here in Muncie, where I film. And uh, he's a loner bird. That's the name of the game. It's enjoying. You really ought to enjoy what you do in life. If you do, then you'll do a good job. The old brush. And if you've painted with me before, you know this is the fun part of this whole technique. We wash our brushes with odor to thinner, shake them off. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of them. Um, what's 